After the first two races of the season, the pilots were back in the hangars working on the old warbirds. Nothing destroys an airplane faster than short races at top speed. And it was with this in mind that the promoters and pilots tried to devise a new racing formula. The idea was to take the accent off all-out speed and introduce a race with pit stops and strategy. What they came up with was the California 1000. pilots have several factors to consider. The race is a thousand miles around a 15-mile course. That means 600 pylon turns, probably at least one pit stop. The strain on man and machine is going to be terrific. Tactics could be the deciding factor, which accounts for the unusual variety of aircraft entered for the race. Clay Lacey has thought about all this and comes up with an original solution. A DC-7 airliner, which can go the whole race without a pit stop. Everyone's laughing, but it's not meant to be a joke. With two wide runways available at Mojave, there will be the thrilling spectacle of a racehorse start, just like the old days at Cleveland. The planes line up in three rows. Each row will be started at 15-second intervals. There are 20 starters, including 11 Mustangs, two Bearcats, a pair of Sea Furies, two Corsairs, one Lightning, an Invader Bomber, and a DC-7 airline. Starting positions are according to qualifying times, except for the DC-7, which will start last to avoid blowing the other planes off the runway. on out in front, hoping to build up a big lead before his pit stop. The Mustangs and Bearcats duel for the lead, while the slower planes wait for the pace to tell. Familiar P-51 is the first to feel the pace. He's forced out with a broken fuel line. On lap 18, Bob Gilford brings his Corsair in for the first pit stop in air racing history. And that is the craziest thing I have ever seen. Planes are soon coming in to change pilots and refuel. Pit stops range from three minutes to ten minutes and more. For many planes, the race is being won and lost on the ground. Okay, got a screwdriver handy, anybody? Yes, right there. Back to half. How much fuel? Okay, about 40, 40 left. We got plenty of gas. All right, I'll spray out. You can do all yet? I'll check that. Uh, you gotta check it yet. I gotta we'll check that clamshell actuator. Do what? How fast is Sherman? Real fast. Okay, then you can put on at least 37 inches. The Corsair takes off as the lightning comes in. the race continues, the less likely it appears that Cooper is going to stop for refueling. The Mustangs and Bearcats set out in pursuit, 
But unless Cooper runs out of gas, they can't possibly make up the lost time. With planes dropping out or slowing down, Clay Lacey moves majestically through the field. Maybe uh, I should take that G meter over here. The big airplane, it's hard to tell how many Gs you're pulling without really looking at it. You always get that feeling you're pulling more than you really are. How about handing me the G meter and I'll put it over here on my glare shield. Here comes the shadow up by us. Uh, it's Bob Love. He passes on his left. There he goes under it. Yeah, look at that guy go. Boy, he must be about three feet going around a pylon, right on the deck. At the end, Sherm Cooper's daring strategy pays off. Flying non-stop for two hours and 52 minutes, the California dentist takes the checkered flag more than five laps ahead of the field. Cooper has gambled and won. Which pylon did I cut? Five. Is that right? Congratulations. Boy, I was getting punchy real bad. <laughs> Thought, uh, well, I'll fly high for a while and see what happens. What does it feel Great. like? Great. <laughs> feels good to win. <laughs> Super Snoopy is sixth out of 16 finishers. During the race, it has consumed 4,000 gallons of gas and 80 gallons of oil. Would you like a little champagne? Right here. Come on, have a little champagne. By fitting in large fuel tanks, Sherm Cooper has taken his rivals by surprise. Next time, they'll know what to expect. But most important of all, the idea of a 1,000-mile race has been a great success. And the format will be repeated for the last race of the season.